Hollywood hates Harry and Meghan. A-listers want nothing to do with them. The Sussexes squirm as they go from royal to the rubbish heap. According to Markle News Source, Harry and Meghan are considered middle class. The unidentified informant said, One of my closest friends is a stylist to the stars in LA and confirmed Meghan Markle and Harry are considered middle class after Meghan burnt through all their money. When I first asked if they'd ever been invited to the Oscars, she laughed and said, <laughs> No, why would they be? She also mentioned a new diabetes drug all the stars are using to lose weight. Meghan Markle's reputation preceded her long before Suits, and she's often talked about as a malignant narcissist. And according to Globe magazine, Harry was so excited to move to California and assumed he'd be dining at the top table with all the big players and insider squeals. In London, he only needed to click his fingers and people would line up to invite him to their upscale bashes. But that's just not happening for him and Meghan, and that's a real kick in the teeth. A mold dishes, it's hitting home hard that the old school types aren't willing to let them into their circles. So hangouts with the likes of Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks aren't on the cards. In the same way, they've been blanked by Beyonce and A-listers like Julia Roberts, Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt. For Harry, it's also lame. Meghan is desperately trying to get top celebrities on a podcast in order to boost their standing, but has had to settle for the likes of Paris Hilton. It goes on to give a recap of the brouhaha that followed Meghan's trash-talking her briefcase girl experience on Deal or No Deal. Spies say the pair have also been spending much less time with Santa Barbara neighbours Orlando Bloom, Katy Perry, Catherine McPhee and David Foster. Moreover, Harry and Meghan Markle were described as D-listers by Tina Brown, who's covered the royal's affairs while in the United States. The royal biographer has commented far and wide about Meghan's house-hunting endeavours and said that they live in a humble cottage and that currently, the Duchess is looking into purchasing another home that is far less opulent than the ones owned by super-rich A-listers like Oprah and Elon Musk. Apparently, Meghan and Harry's estimated net worth is about $22 million, compared to big names like Jay-Z and Beyonce, whose net worth is above $1.4 billion, while Tyler Perry, who hosted the royal couple while they were moving to the States, has an approximated net worth of $880 million, and Ellen DeGeneres, who's been estimated at almost $500 million. It means that, yes, in comparison, the royal couple are Hollywood poor. Tina Brown mentions that in Montecito, where they live, their $14 million mansion is a humble cottage compared to what the other people have. Furthermore, she claims that Harry might be backpedalling about the reported tell-all book, Spare. They're now in this bind where they've taken all this money and Harry's made this book deal where he's supposed to spill everything about his horrible life as a royal. But now he's actually tortured about it because he understands there's no way back if he does. If the book continues, I don't think there's any way for Harry to return, so my view has always been that the book won't see the light of day.